all of our lessons this spring quarter, they have taken a look at the power and the authority of Christ. And in his power and in his authority, the lessons they have left us with answering the question, do we believe in Christ? Do you believe in Christ? If you do believe in Christ, that is absolutely wonderful. But if you do not believe in Christ, the Sunday school lessons they have essentially asked, why not? Who is it? What is it that you believe in? And here in our Sunday school lesson this week, our lesson is going to challenge what it is that you believe in and why it is that you should believe in Christ, why it is that you should believe in the excellence of Christ. So here today, our Sunday school lesson there in the first chapter of the epistle to the Hebrews, it opens up with the writer expressing to his people, the Jews, how in times past, God spoke to them through the prophets. However, in their day, the writer points out that God has spoken to them through his son, that is his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who the writer points out was appointed heir of all things and also made the worlds, which is something that is expressed in John's gospel. John, he spoke about how Christ is the word and he said that the word was with God and that the word was God. The word was there in the beginning, John said. Paul, he speaks to this over in his letter to the Colossian church, where Paul said to the Colossian church, all things were made through him and for him. Those things, whether they are visible or invisible, Paul said that they were made by him. So when we take a look at the third verse here in our Sunday school lesson this week, we'll see that the writer begins to speak about the accolades of Christ, who Christ is. We'll see the writer speaks to the brightness of Christ's glory and how he was the express image of God. The writer we'll see there speaks to what Jesus did by upholding all things by the word of his power. He purged our sins and afterwards, Jesus, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. So why did the writer, why was he speaking to the accolades of Christ? Why was he saying who Christ was? Well, again, he was writing to his people. He was writing to the Jews and the Jews, they had neglected Christ. Many of them had neglected Christ, and so therefore they had neglected the promise of Christ, the promise of salvation. They were neglecting salvation. And the writer, he desired for them to stop neglecting the promise of Christ, to stop neglecting the salvation, to stop neglecting the reward of everlasting life. The Jews at that point in time, many of them were still beholden to the old ways, the ways that were of old, when Christ had been given to them, who came with an offer of something that was far better. And so the writer, he faced something that many of us face today. People who give their worship, people who give their praise to, to things that aren't worthy of their worship, to things that aren't worthy of their praise. That's not to say that the law isn't worthy of their worship and that the law is not worthy of their praise, but there is no salvation through the law because they could not uphold the law. And for us today, there is no salvation through idolatry to when we give our worship and to we give our praise to things that can't do anything for our soul. So the writer faced what, what many of us face today when it comes to ministering and sharing the word of God. People are turning away, people are neglecting the word of God for something that can do absolutely nothing for them. So what else did the writer, what did he do to encourage the people to turn away from those meaningless things and to turn to the Lord? We'll see the writer, he continued on there in the fourth verse by comparing Christ to the angels. He said, by inheritance, Christ obtained a more excellent name than they. The writer then posed the question to them there in the fifth verse. Which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, today I begotten you? We know that when Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, that scripture tells us that God's voice from heaven said that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. God, he did not say that to one of his angels. The writer then posed another question there in that same verse. Which of the angels did God say, I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son. God, he said that to David in his promise of Christ that the Lord had made in the covenant with David. That promise again, it was about Christ. It was not about an angel. There in the sixth verse, the writer, he then pointed out again in comparing Christ to the angels. 
He said that when he, God again, brings the firstborn into the world, he will say, let all the angels of God worship him. The firstborn here in this verse, it speaks to the firstborn of the resurrection. The firstborn of the resurrection of the body is Christ himself. That is a role that Christ fulfilled by becoming our propitiation, by giving his life for us. He died on the cross, right? And then after he died on the cross, he rose from the grave with all power and authority in his hands. The angels, they don't fulfill that role. That is not the role in which the angels serve. What is the role that the angels serve in? Well, the writer speaks to that. We'll see the writer says there in the seventh verse of the angels, God says, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? see the angels they are ministering spirits again they don't serve in the role to to die for us they serve in the role to to minister to us christ he is our perpetuation not the angels the firstborn of the resurrection that is again christ not the angels the only begotten son of god that is christ not the angels and so the writer said there in the eighth verse to the son god has said your throne is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. This speaks to the eternal role of Christ, to where Christ, as has been promised by the Lord, will reign forever and ever. This is actually shown to us in the book of the revelation of Christ as well. Now we'll see there in the ninth verse, to his only begotten son, the Lord has said, you have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, he will be appointed with the oil of gladness more than his companions. Now, to some of us, it may sound like throughout this lesson, throughout this scripture, it may sound like the writer was bashing the, the angels. Was the writer, was he bashing the angels? No. What the writer was trying to do was, again, to get through to the Jews, many of them who were, again, still beholden to the old ways, and many of them would, would worship the angels. They would, they, would have, they would hold the angels in a very high regard, while, again, neglecting Christ, who, again, is the only begotten Son of God, as the writer had pointed out to, to the Jews, to his people. And so, again, what the writer desired was for them to, hey, if you're gonna hold the angels in, in very high regard, then why aren't you holding God's only begotten son in high regard? Again, we know that God in whole is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so the writer desired for his people to fully commit themselves to the Lord. Many of them, they would acknowledge that God is there, that he's present, that he's the Father, but again, they would ignore the son who, again, is greater than the angels. And so this is a message that, again, it can be shared for, for all of us today. It can be shared to the whole world today. Not to say that there are people in the world today that's worshiping angels. Maybe they are. Maybe there is. But there's a lot of idolatry that is in our world today where people are worshiping things that they may not even recognize that they are worshiping. Well, many of us, we worship the idea of wealth, right? The idea of money, cars and clothes and, and whatnot. There, there are many people who are, who are committed in their soul to things that cannot do anything for their soul for everlasting life. And so the thought here is this, don't, worship, don't waste your worship and your praise on inanimate things or on things that can't do anything for your soul. The idea here is that Christ is worthy of your worship. Christ is worthy of your honor and your respect being, hey, you should honor him. You should worship him. Why is that? Because again, Christ, he laid down his life for us. Christ, he is our mediator, right? He is our advocate and we have an intercessor in Christ. He is our high priest today who sits at the right hand of majesty sits at the right hand of the Father of the Lord. And so, again, we should recognize and we should acknowledge all that Christ has done for us. And again, we should commit ourselves to, to living according to his way. Because when we do this again, we will find our way into his kingdom.
to where we will have an everlasting home with him. So that's something that we're going to see here as we begin to close out our Sunday school lessons for this quarter, that Christ, you should believe in him, right? Not only should you believe in him, fact of the matter is that Christ, he is certainly worthy of your worship. Christ, he is worthy of your praise. And so the question again is asked today, will you believe in him? And will you honor him? Will you recognize him? Will you worship and will you praise him? I hope, I truly do hope that you will come to, if you haven't done so already, I would hope that you would recognize Christ and how he has moved for you and how the Lord works in your life. And I would hope that you would become grateful and that you would realize that the Lord, he is certainly worthy of all of your praise. Thanks for watching this week's Sunday School lesson. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and I hope that you'll share this lesson with someone somewhere. Be sure that you like this video and if you aren't doing so already, make sure that you're following this channel. Hit the alert bell as well so that you don't miss any notifications for the next video that we share here on the Newfound Faith YouTube channel.